everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today I'm excited to talk to you guys about the Bayliner VR5 for 2023. So this is going to be Bayliner's 20 foot kind of bow rider IO model. Um, it's been in the line for several years, but really it's turned into one of our best sellers um, and really one of the best value boats in the industry. For somebody looking for something that's deep, something that's comfortable, you know, maybe on a calm day you might want to take it to Lake Erie and you kind of, you know, try to, you know, you don't want to spend $100,000 on a boat. You know, but you want something that maybe you can take out in a little bit on a on a day to the lake. Um, you know, this is kind of like kind of the lowest price point or the lowest type of boat you can probably do that with. Um, but you look at how deep the boat is, how deep the hull is. It really rides more like a 22 footer, and you know, it's really one of my favorite boats because it gives you a lot of value. It's not a lot of bling, a lot of extras that you don't need. You know, but it still has some luxury elements to it. You know, the design of the hull and the way that it's built is really top notch. It's built by Brunswick. Um, you know, so the same engineers that kind of designed the, you know, the Boston Whaler product and the Sea Ray product designed this product too. Uh, they just keep it a little bit simpler, a little bit less amenities, keep, keep the price down, um, you know, but you still get lifetime hull warranty. Um, you still get, you know, the Brunswick backing with Merc Cruiser and Mercury as well. So uh, really overall, you know, just a good, good boat. You know, we can kind of look at the hull and see how deep it is and you see how the strakes are there and, you know, for a 20 foot boat, you know, also stainless steel package all the way around. So they, they, they do a nice job, even though, you know, not a ton of bling, but there's enough bling in there to, you know, this used to be a couple of years ago, this used to be a rubber strip, now it's stainless steel. So they are kind of elevating the boat a little bit. Um, and there are some more luxury elements. We'll look and we see on the inside and in the upholstery, how the upholstery has definitely stepped their game up. So let's take a look inside of the Bayliner VR5. Okay, so we move inside the Bayliner VR5. Um, you always talk a little bit about the transom area and having this kind of a nice uh, C deck here on the back platform. This is a, a good staging area. If you're getting ready to tube or whatever, you can kind of sit facing backwards. You know, we see the stainless steel uh, engine vents here, stainless steel grab handles. We've got a nice boarding ladder um, as well that makes it easy to get in and out of the boat. Uh, so, you know, nice transom area that's really reusable. Uh, we have a nice sun pad here that obviously you can lay out on. We've got this kind of cool uh, flip up cushion here. So this actually can, can slide in right there. And it actually, we can if we move this up, we can open this up to walk through, or we can actually kind of create a kind of a lean back. So if somebody wants to kind of sit up with their, you know, read or do something like that, that's kind of a cool option to have. So again, versatile seating, versatile in the way they do it and then a storage compartment down there that opens up for life jackets or whatever uh, as well. As we move inside the cockpit, again, we have that little walkthrough that's kind of nice that you can access the, the boat from, from anywhere. Uh, the uh, inside of the boat, again, 20 foot boat, very, very roomy. Uh, we've got storage underneath all the seats. Um, one of the things I always like to point out, um, you know, there are some things, you know, we, Bayliner, we don't want to have a crazy, all these amenities, all these things driving the price up, but there's definitely some stuff like heavy duty stainless steel grab handles, heavy duty stainless steel pieces like this. We look at the upholstery and how we've got the new textures and the new stitching on the upholstery. It really does dress the boat up quite a bit to, to make it a little bit more luxurious. So that's some, definitely some things that I like how they've changed. Um, this seat here, I really, really like. It's very versatile. So I can sit facing backwards like it is now we can sit facing forwards, kind of like a co-captain's chair, just by moving it up like that. Or we can lay it all the way down to kind of create a bed lounger and actually you can sit facing back that way. So very, very versatile seat. I like having that. Again, normally in a boat like this, you're not gonna see that. So um, this particular boat, while it is available with this traditional bimini top, this particular one has a really cool looking, I think it's called the, uh, aviator tower or something like that. Um, so a nice, you know, double tube tower that looks really aesthetically pleasing and has a nice sturdy bimini top with, uh, again, stainless steel rather than just having little chintzy pieces hold the bimini top together. This is a really durable piece, really hard, you know, hard and high, high and hardcore piece uh, that's going to hold up real well long term. Um, we also have got a ski locker here, just like traditional bow riders. So a nice deep ski locker for wakeboards or water skis or whatever you might want to put. Um, as you move into the helm area, so helm area is really, really nice. Um, I got plenty of room for, room for my legs, plenty of, uh, you know, foot space here, adjustable tilt wheel, 
all my instrumentation, nice stereo controls. Uh, I think there's six, seven different gauges on here, plus a depth finder. So everything you need. I've got a little cell phone holder down here with a USB plug, uh, you know, so everything's convenient there. I like how I can rest my arm on the side of the gunnel here and it's kind of a comfortable position versus having something that's kind of weird, you know, so I can rest my gunnel here. So it's kind of nice. Um, again, deep cockpit here. You know, a lot of times the cockpit height will be about right there and I'm kind of reaching my arm down. So it's really comfortable for the kids. You feel deep inside the boat, which is really, really cool. Um, as we move toward the bow, I'm first going to show you a little storage compartment that we have on the port side, you know, for all your cushions or cover or whatever. You can slide them in there. It's a big, big storage compartment. There's also a little glove box over on this side, which is kind of cool. It is lockable. And then the bow is pretty versatile. So we see how big the bow is and how wide it is. Um, so this is a traditional bow rider, but it kind of has more of a modern bow, almost like a deck boat. So that's why the bow is pretty wide. Uh, but then we also see the filler cushions there and actually the little center cushion here that comes out. All right, so if you want to put the kids up there and have them have like a playpen area, that closes in, but most of the time you might have that piece out so people can access in and out from the bow. Uh, but there's a couple cup holders up there. There's all kinds of cushions up there, but it's a really comfortable spot for, you know, up to three people to be seated comfortably. So overall for a 20 foot boat, you look at all the stuff that comes with it, all the space that you have. We're talking about a boat that's rated for eight people and eight people can easily fit in here all the way around, no problem. Um, it's really one of the better values in the industry, in my opinion, you know, to get a good riding boat, all the features, you know, things that are still nice. You know, there's not anything you look at this boat and say, oh, it's not really that nice. You know, everything's pretty well done. It's not overdone, but it's pretty well done. So definitely check out the Bayliner VR5 20 foot boat with us at Buckeye Sports Center. Uh, visit our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com for more information and to view our inventory or check out our YouTube page, subscribe to our YouTube page where we have videos uh, on this boat and, you know, boats from Bayliner and about 13 other brands as well. So. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you on the water.